Hi there Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for October 2017. This is a general reading, This whatever com comes up will come up. This may or may not resonate with you as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these four decks for you before turning on the camera. This is for the sign of Virgo. zoom this in. I asked uh, my spirits before I started this reading, uh, what do you have for Virgo? And I heard letting go. Letting go and it's over and ending and what else? I heard something else too. It was different. It was completely different than those other ones but it's gone but it might come back throughout the reading. Um, the basis of your reading is this Four of Pentacles. That's like an obsession, okay? This is the basis of your reading for the month, okay? This is an obsession. This guy does not want to let go of what he has, okay? And this is materialistic issues, okay? Materialistic items. He doesn't want to let go of them. So he may be stuck in a situation because of materialistic things, okay? Okay. Just saying, that's the basis of your reading. Um, right next to it are... <laughs> right next to it, we have you moving forward. We have you moving, moving. Either you're moving physically, you could be traveling, you could be um, working on mastering your emotions, putting yourself in the driver's seat, taking charge, doing the right thing for you. Okay, I see that that's what that is. That's actually, that could be moving your home. Okay, we have your home right here next to this chariot. Your home could be changing. Somebody could be moving out. Somebody could be moving in. It looks like your home is changing. You could be moving physically or like I said, something in your home establishment is changing. Perhaps there wasn't enough attraction, okay? There was an attraction somewhere. You weren't getting the love or you didn't have the love to offer anymore. That's what this is. Either somebody wasn't offering you love or you weren't just don't, there's just nothing, no interest. There's no interest here, okay? Um, underneath that is the karma card, which is the judgment card. This card comes out when it, there you are about to have a breakthrough. You're about to have an awakening of some sort, which is going to force you into the driver's seat to take charge. Maybe the other person, whoever you're thinking about while I'm giving you this reading, isn't making any moves. Well, you're going to take care of that because you're making the moves, all right? This right here is regarding an attraction. There might be a deep attraction between you and another person, okay? Um... This is awareness as above, so below. This is also about taking action in your favor, using your tools inside of you to succeed. And I see that you're doing that. I see that there's been some anguish. There's been some depression. You may have been losing sleep over this. You know, you there's some kind of decision that needs to be made, and you're losing sleep over it. And I think that it has to do with love. Okay, I do. I think that this is calling for you to have a lot of inner strength, a lot of courage, confidence, wisdom with this strength card. That's what it tells me. This is tells me that you are going to have to struggle through this. This is like a daring energy. I dare you to do the right thing for you. Do you dare to do this? Do you? Do you really have the strength to do this? This is like a dare. This, can you do it? That's what this is. 
or do you want to be like this right here just very unhappy okay you do have the tools to succeed believe it okay there's no sense in resisting it or staying stuck in a situation because of materialistic things that's what that's what this is resisting a change due to money okay so this right here is the page of cups this is a new love okay um, this page of cups comes on when you might be receiving messages of love um, a new relationship uh, your intuition could be increasing it's a very romantic energy okay so I think that you are moving forward in the name of love you are looking for that love relationship where it's equal and balanced and a mutual attraction okay um, this up here is a Libra Gemini Aquarius this is somebody who is very takes control of the situation just tells the truth it's okay it's like you know what it's blunt it's the blunt truth okay and it may happen very quickly if you haven't been able if you've been holding back and you have been resisting due to materialistic things all of a sudden you might get up in the morning and be like you know what here it comes and out it comes okay because that's what this energy is it's like you know what here we go I'm gonna tell you like it is that's the way it is okay um, I see that you you know you, you could be and I think we already talked about this about you moving okay you could be changing jobs you could be getting a raise um, I see you you could be moving up the ladder um, there's definitely moving forward and I think that I mean it looks really really good for me for you that you are um, you're taking control of the situation whatever it is whatever's going on right now in regards to love I think that you are taking control of the situation you're having a wake-up call over a situation perhaps you weren't getting the love that you desired and you're taking charge it's like you know what I have to do something about this I'm looking for excitement this is a lot of excitement right here this is this is the card of excitement that dares you to do something great it takes courage and confidence to step outside of your comfort zone okay So this could be in regards to relationship or job, okay? You could be resisting changing jobs for fear that you won't make enough money, you know? But that there's no, there's nothing left in that position, or it, it suffice, or it could be with a um, relationship. Same thing. You could be resisting um, or wanting a new partnership because there's nothing left in the current one but you're resisting it for fear that the other one won't come to fruition the devil look at that page of wands twice okay this is a very daring, exciting energy. Do you have what it takes to do this? Do you have the inner strength? Do you have the inner wisdom? Do you have the confidence? Do you have the courage? This is a dare. It's very exciting, okay? It is. There's a lot of passion to be had. There is. There's a lot of passion, and I think there's a lot of... Um, lust here this month I think you're you are um, really having feeling having a lot of desires with the devil card okay and all these these fire signs right here which is Aries Leo Sagittarius and you have Libra Gemini Aquarius um, you have Leo again you have Pisces Cancer Scorpio that is what I see so far you have Capricorn Either way, okay, you have some desires, and there's sexual desires this month, okay? You have some. It's almost like, um, 
and you're resisting them. You're resisting them because you're stuck in a spot and you're stuck in this spot for, um, because of materialistic issues. That's what it looks like. This is like an obsession of some sort, an obsession of materialistic items. Okay. You're stuck in a, stuck in this situation because of, um, you might be financially tied to somebody or because of finances or whatever the case may be. Um, I think that there is a deep attraction between you and another person and that's the direction that you want to be headed in. I think you haven't been getting the attention that you desire. You have these desires. You're looking for excitement. Um, this right here says you've been sticking around to battle it out when you really don't need to. This kid can fly away in his dragon, but he's not. He's just uh, partaking in, in the bullshit for no particular reason at all. There's no need to. He can just fly away. He's already on top. There's no reason to even be there anymore. It's just other than to just fight it out. Um, but he doesn't need to fight it out. Um, this page of wands says it's almost like you, you love the excitement. You're thriving on the excitement. It almost that's what it feels like. There's a lot of fiery, exciting energy here. So um, there could this excitement could come from this new love that I'm talking about because the excitement is right next to this new love. Whoever this is, it could be a Leo, um, could be an Aries, could be a Sagittarius. I'm, that's what I'm banking on, your new love. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well, but I'm banking on the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. I just see a lot of fiery, lovely, sexy energy, okay? Um, sexual appeal all right and I see that you are changing I see, I think that that your your whole I think you're going you go about to start a new chapter actually even though we don't have the wheel card with the death and the chariot card it says that you are moving forward those are both transformation cards it's a time of change something big is ending and something new is beginning and it's because you are putting yourself in the driver's seat mastering your emotions using that strength and that confidence and that willpower and that courage to push through it, okay? You might have to let some things go to get there, some material things, okay? Those are minor. Those can be replaced. There could be some um, uh, brash, harsh words said during this month, just saying. Somebody could be watching you or... Um, with, that you don't watching you very closely and you don't know it. Okay, there could be some. Um, there's definitely some fast moving energy here, so beware. I mean, with this card and this card, there's in this card, there's things are happening pretty fast. There's no there's no lack of excitement this month. Put it that way. Things are happening. Changes are happening. People could be moving, um, moving physically, or you know, there's definitely moving from one phase to the other. Um, let me get the next deck. I think there, there's some impulsive energy here too, so just beware with this Knight of Wands and Page of Wands, and you have the Page of Wands twice. This can be pretty impulsive, following your desires. And, and I think you may have had desires recently, Virgo, but I think that you're really having some strong desires in another direction because you haven't been getting the, the TLC that you require. Judgment again. That's an awakening, a breakthrough. Uh, all right. Now we have Pisces, Cancer. Oh, not Pisces. Jesus. We do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio underneath. But this right here is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay. Um, this is about where you're going to focus your energy. Are you going to stay here and about how long are you going to stay in, in, in this unhappy situation? Because this is the fork in the road. And this is the unhappy situation that you don't need to be in. How long are you going to focus on that for? How long are you going to stay stuck? How long are you going to resist it when there's new love right around the corner? Because it's literally right around the corner. 
Okay, how long are you going to stay stuck in this situation? Um, and this could just be a thought, okay? If you're with somebody and you have no plans of splitting up with them, you this could be a thought that you are stuck on, that you need to move past, okay? But in many cases, and I think in most cases for this reading, this is you are not getting the love that you desire. You're not getting the excitement. You're not getting the TLC. And you are moving on from that. That's what I see. I think you've been reminiscing about somebody from the past. Could be somebody from your childhood. Doesn't mean that you have dated them. It could be somebody that you went to school with. And you know how we all evolve over time. You know, you've evolved and perhaps they've popped into your life. And there's a very deep mutual attraction, okay, between you and this other person with this two of cups, all right, we have, there could be, it could lead to a lot of happiness between you and this person, and you are seeking this happiness, this vibrancy, all right, you're seeking this bliss, and that's why you're in, put yourself in the driver's seat, and you're moving forward, you're mastering your emotions, the judgment is here again to let you know this is a time, this is a breakthrough, it's a time for you to take this gift, this breakthrough, this awakening, this wake-up call that you are getting during this time to put yourself in the driver's seat and to move forward. If there's anything financial that is holding you back, that's minor. Don't let it hold you back. That's an obstacle for you, okay? The two of swords, this is you can't this is about ignoring a situation. This is about pretending. I think you're moving away from that. It's time to finally make a decision. We have two twos right next to each other. Twos are about choices and decisions. It is time. You can't pretend that this is going to be okay any longer. And the back in the bottom of that is it takes courage, confidence, and inner strength to not ignore a situation. Okay? It does. This Knight of Coins, this is this is um, delays. There definitely has been some delays because I think you're tied to somebody. I think you're tied to somebody and it's been causing some delays. Um, just remember to have patience. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't quit on your dreams. Follow through. Continue the plan. Move forward. Realize that it takes time for this transformation. Transformation does not happen overnight. Okay? You have all the tools to get through this, but it is not going to happen overnight. And you know that. But the first step is putting yourself in the driver's seat and moving forward. And I think that's what you're doing. You really have to, to make a stand. I think... I think that you really have to drive because the other person is not going to, okay? We're going to get you one of my whispers of love. Love who you are. <laughs> Number eight. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person, deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Be your own advocate. <laughs> yes, sir. Be your own advocate. Believe in yourself. Love who you are, and the energy of self-love will help you to realize your dreams. When was the last time you gave yourself a pat on the back or acknowledged that you love yourself? Working on a good relationship with yourself will enable you to have a positive relationship with others. Love who you are. You deserve it. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have excitement. You deserve to have tender loving care.
talk to you later, Virgo.